Hello all, if you see the Raspberry Pi board, there are two LEDs here. The first one on the top nearer to the USB connector is a red LED and below that you have a green LED. So red LED talks about the power. So if you provide appropriate power to your uh, Raspberry Pi board, red LED glows continuously. If red LED is blinking means there is a problem with your power supply input. Your power supply input might have gone below 4.65 volts. Now there is green LED. Green LED is more related to the boot up condition. Like when you power on the Raspberry Pi, the green LED blinks when uh, it boots from SD card and then it can either turn off or turn on depending on the logic uh, you have. So it should remain in one constant state. It should not blink. Now in our board, we have SD card inserted. Like if we see, there is a SD card inserted here. You can see, okay. You can see on the back as well, SD card is already inserted. Now what we are doing is, we are just trying to power up the board, okay. So we are powering up the board here. When we power up the board, you can see red LED is blinking, red LED is glowing continuously, whereas green LED, uh, it has blinked and uh, it remains on continuously after some time or off. So you can see now it is on and constant. So which indicates that your uh, booting has happened. Now you can see sometimes red LED blinks. This is not a um, correct scenario. You might have to change your power supply input. That's what it indicates. Now let us do one thing. Let us remove the USB. We are right now connecting the laptop and what we are doing is we are removing the SD card. Okay. And let us try to power up the Raspberry Pi through the SIM. You can see here as the SD card has been removed, you can only see the power that LED that is glowing. There is no transition on the green LED. So simple thing, right? You can say that the Raspberry Pi has not booted using this condition. So these are primary debug uh, uh, scenarios which can be easily understood by the novice hardware guys if you don't have any hardware knowledge also if you are using the raspberry pi for your uh, writing your software you can easily understand using these scenarios thank you